Ananda said to the Buddha, Lord Buddha, you were born into a royal family, set under a tree, and meditated on wisdom for six years. Attaining Buddha's dignity seems easily achieved. The Buddha replied to Ananda, Once upon a time, Ananda, there was an extremely wealthy and owner who possessed all kinds of jewels, but he was not content because he didn't have true red pearls. Taking some men with him, he went to the sea to collect some pearls. After overcoming various dangers and obstacles, he managed to reach the place where the jewels were. He cut his body to let his blood flow, which he placed in an oil-coated bag, suspended at the bottom of the sea. The eysters, attracted by the scent of blood, came to suck it. He could then retrieve the eysters and, by opening them, extracted the pearls. Collecting them in this manner for three years, he eventually formed a complete necklace. On his way back, when he reached the river bank, his companions, seeing that he had precious jewels, set a trap for him. While they followed him to fetch water, they gathered and threw him into a well, which they later covered, and then they left. A long time had passed and he fell to the bottom of the well when he noticed a lion approaching through a side opening to drink water. He was once again filled with fear, but when the lion departed, the man searched for the passage the animal had come through, managed to climb out of the well, and returned to his homeland. When his companions came back to their house, the man called them and said, You stole my necklace. No one knows, nor that you also tried to kill me. Return it secretly, and I won't report you. Fearful, the men returned the pearls. With the jewels in his possession, the owner took them home. He had two sons who played with the pearls, placing them on their bodies, and asked each other, Where did these pearls come from? One of them said, They came from the bag I have in my hand. The other said, they came from a jar in this room. Seeing this, the father began to laugh. His wife asked him the reason, and he replied, I obtained these pearls through extreme suffering. These children received them from me, knowing nothing of this story, and they think the pearls came from a jar. The Buddha said to Ananda, you only see me after I have become a Buddha, but you are unaware of the countless kalpas of effort and suffering I dedicated to study. Now, I have reached the goal, and you think it was easy, just like those children who thought the pearls came from a jar. Thus, we can achieve our goal by practicing countless good deeds and accumulating merit over many kalpas. But it is not about the result, nor a single act, a single action, or a single life.